हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज वी हैव सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस द इंडियन ई प्रोफाइलिंग डी एन ई फिंगर प्रिंटिंग एंड एनालिसिस ऑफ द ब्लड स्टीन्स एंड सो मेनी पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम द फॉरेंसिक साइंस इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ द अल्कोहल इज एस्टिमेटेड फ्रॉम द बॉडी फ्लूड्स That is the heading is determination of alcohol in body fluids. So points which we are going to discuss in today's lecture are here: legal background, sampling and sample preservation, analysis by using gas chromatography, infrared spectroscopy, then enzymatic method and other methods for determination of alcohol in the body fluids so these are the points which we are going to discuss in today's lecture so in the lecture we will continuously repeating some terms as a dui so dui means driving under the influence of alcohol means when any person who met with an accident and he was drunk then the called as a dui means driving under the influence of alcohol and the another word is we have written in the next is the per se law so this is mean by law which is made by the person itself or the decision taken by self simply law made by self means per se law so we will start with our actual discussion introduction so chemical analysis determines the blood and the alcohol concentration of a dui suspect that is drunk under influence of the alcohol suspect and yields more concrete evidence of the intoxication than that which can be provided by eyewitness opinion means to determine chemically the blood or alcohol concentration from the body of a suspect our study will help a lot there are two chemical procedures to find out the amount of alcohol in the body fluids first is blood analysis by gas chromatography and breath analysis by infrared spectroscopy so these are the two techniques first is blood can be analyzed by using gas chromatography and from that we are going to find out the amount of alcohol in the blood and next the breath analysis by infrared spectroscopy so these are the two chemical procedures so first point is legal background so chemical testing for determination of the alcohol content of his blood breath or urine if arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol so the chemical testing can be done to determine the alcohol determination or the alcohol content from the body of the person who is present at the scene of crime so his blood breath or urine can be taken for the chemical testing and if a peace officer has a reasonable grounds to believe that an arrest has violated either the dui or per se law and directs that the chemical test be administered the arresting officer may designate the type of analysis to be performed means simply the officer or the inspector who has arrested the suspect he may designate the type of analysis to be performed like a breath analysis blood analysis or urine analysis to find out alcohol content in the suspect's body then chemical analysis measures by weights the percentage amount of alcohol in a subject's body blood and comparison of the amount to a percentage scale ascertains the presumptive level of an arrestee's intoxication 
में सिंपली द रिजल्ट विल बी कंपेयर ऑफ द सस्पेक्ट बॉडी अल्कोहोल रिजल्ट टू द रेफरेंस लेवल एंड अल्कोहल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मीन्स दैट आइदर ग्राम्स ऑफ अल्कोहल पर हंड्रेड मिली लीटर्स ऑफ द ब्लड मीन्स हाउ अल्कोहल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कैन बी फाउंड सो इट इज इन द ग्राम्स ऑफ अल्कोहल पर हंड्रेड मिली लीटर्स ऑफ द ब्लड और ग्राम्स ऑफ अल्कोहल पर टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन लीटर्स ऑफ द ब्रीद और ग्राम्स ऑफ अल्कोहल पर सेवेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री मिली लीटर्स ऑफ इरीन मीन्स अल्कोहल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कैन बी फाउंड वेन देर इज हंड्रेड एम एल ब्लड देन अमाउंट ऑफ अल्कोहल प्रेजेंट इन द बॉडी ऑफ द पर्सनस ब्लड कैन बी डिटरमाइंड देन वेन देर इज अ ब्रीथ अराउंड टू टेन लीटर ब्रीथ कंटेज हाउ मच ग्राम ऑफ अल्कोहल एंड लास्टली द इरीन सेवेंटी फाइव Urine contains how much gram of the alcohol? By this way, alcohol concentration can be determined, and the results of chemical analysis may establish legal presumptions. As if the alcohol concentration measures less than point not five percent, the law presumes that the person was not under the influence of alcohol. Means when the amount of blood in which the alcohol concentration is around 0.05% that means the law says that the person is not under the influence of a alcohol and if the blood or the alcohol concentration measures 0.10% or more than 0.10% the statute imposes a rebuttable presumption that the person was under the influence of alcohol means simply there is a limitation when 0.05% alcohol is found in the blood then person is not under the influence of the alcohol and when concentration is more than 0.05 that is the 0.10 or more then the person person will be under the influence of the alcohol and the statute also provides a collateral middle ground no presumption arises when an individual blood or alcohol concentration measures in excess of 0.05 but not but the less than 0.10 percent so when concentration is in between 0.05 to 0.10 percent the statute also provides a collateral middle ground the blood or alcohol concentration may be considered however in determining the individual's guilt or innocence means to determine the concentration of the blood or alcohol for that purpose individuals guilt or innocence can be determined and evidence of blood or alcohol concentration along with any other competent evidence of intoxication may be admitted in any criminal action or other proceeding which alleges that the driver operated a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol means the evidence of blood or alcohol concentration along with any other competent evidence of intoxication and which was admitted by any criminal or the suspect or the proceeding which alleges that the driver or the person or the suspect which is under the influence of alcohol and whom operated a motor vehicle under the influence of the alcohol and there are however restrictions on the admissibility of an evidence report of the test results or the facts which are concerned with the administration of the test and both dui that is a we have discussed other driven under the influence of the alcohol and the per se statutes imposes fines imprisonment license suspensions and the required completion of an alcohol information course on dui offenders means simply when the person or the suspect who is under the influence of alcohol and he has driven the car or bike then on him 
According to DUI rules and Perse statutes, the fines will be imposed, then imprisonment, license, suspension, and the required completion of an alcohol information course will be applied on the offender. And if an arrestee refuses to submit to a blood or alcohol test, the implied consent statute imposes an automatic 90-day license suspension. Means when simply the arrestee or the suspect who refuses to submit the blood or alcohol for the test, then on him 90-day license suspension will be imposed with no provision for a restricted. Then the blood analysis can be performed by two methods as I have already told. First one is a blood analysis by gas chromatography and next one is a breath analysis. So we will see first blood analysis by GC. Here blood analysis which provides a direct determination of the subject's blood or alcohol level and avoids the application of theories or inferences regarding that determination. We simply the blood analysis provides a very good information about the alcohol percentage in the suspect's body and the criminal investigation laboratory which determines the alcohol concentration percentage through the process of gas chromatography and gas chromatography exclusively measures the ethyl alcohol and the procedure which allows an analyst testifying at a judicial proceedings to demonstrate that the instrument specifically tests for ethyl alcohol and because of its exclusivity it is the preferred method of blood analysis means the gas chromatography is the best technique to find out the amount of alcohol concentration present in the blood of the suspect or the subject or the criminal and the process utilizes vapor diffused from the blood sample into the headspace of the sealed container. To conduct the test, an analyst injects the headspace vapors into a column which contains a packing material coated with a liquid phase which separates volatile compounds including ethanol. So, there is a vapor diffuse method is used and the vapors diffused from the blood sample into the head space of the sealed container and to conduct this test an analyst should inject the head space vapors into a column which contains a packing material coated with a liquid phase and that separates volatile components from the ethanol or volatile components from blood including ethanol and the volatile compounds move through the column and accordingly they will get separate according to their molecular weights and the boiling points as we know the principle of this and how they can separate the components so simply initially we have to collect the vapors from blood by vapor diffusion method and then these vapors can be injected to the GC. They will get separated from the GC according to their molecular weight and the boiling points. And the process separates the alcohol molecules and as the volatiles pass through a detector at the end of the column, an electrical impulse is recorded and we will get a spectrum. And the impulse signifies the quantity of ethyl alcohol in the blood. So we will see the concentration of ethyl alcohol and the retention time and the magnitude of the electrical impulse allows the analyst to quantitate the amount of ethanol present in the blood sample. So from the retention time and the magnitude of the electrical impulse we can find out quantitatively the amount of the alcohol present in the blood sample. And because gas chromatography analyzes blood specifically for ethyl alcohol to the exclusion of all other referring substances it is the method of choice for testing blood samples so this is the best method to find out the amount of ethyl alcohol from the body fluid or the blood so 
a procedure for blood analysis so initially we have to collect blood and uh, then sample preservation is very important again so only persons authorized by law may collect a blood sample for alcohol analysis so simply the person whom is gone for collecting the blood he will be authorized by the law and the collection of such a sample occurs at the written request of a peace officer who observed the sample collection when possible so that he may arrest the samples authenticity the officer should then initial or mark the sample seal for further identification so peace officer uh, observes the sample then he collects the sample then he marks the sample then he will seal the sample for further identification and a medical doctor nurse or technician draws the sample from the subject and places it in a clean and dry test tube or other any container which will contain anticoagulant and the preservatives and the law enforcement officer who requested that the sample be drawn or the person who collected the sample then seals the tube with evidence tape and mails it to the criminal investigation laboratory so for the collection of the sample or for the sampling and the sample preservation of the blood only the authorized person should collect the blood then the blood should be labeled then a medical nurse or the doctor or the technician draws the blood from the subject's body and places it in a clean dish tube or any other container which already contains the anticoagulating agent and the preservative and the peace officer or the enforcement officer who requested that the sample be drawn the person who collected the sample then the sample will be sealed in a tube and uh, covered with the evidence tape and then it can be transferred to the criminal investigation laboratory then the following information must accompany the sample so on the sample some things are very important to write so first means the name of the suspect can be written then date time and the site where the incident will be occurred and the where the sample is collected that can be written and name of initials of the persons whom collected the material that can be written or the substance sealed by the person that can be written so each and everything will be written name of the suspect date time site location of the body and where the sample is collected name of the person whom sample is collected and the name of the person whom sample is sealed so everything will be written and before testing the analyst places the sealed sample container in a water bath then alcohol present in the blood diffuses into the air in the head space above the liquid in accord with the physical gas law the ratio of the alcohol concentration in the blood to that in the air above is constant and the next the analyst draws the head space sample from the sealed container by inserting the needle of a syringe through its rubber stopper I means simply you have taken a test tube and sealed with a rubber stopper and in this blood is present in which anticoagulating agent and the preservative is there but as we know the sample will diffuse the volatile material into the test tube which is the remaining part which is the empty part and when we want to uh, find out or analyze this then by using a gc we will analyze this diffused vapors and uh, the analyst then inject the head space vapor into the gas chromatograph instrument the sample passes through the column and separates out the ethyl alcohol present in it by injecting this head space vapor into the gas chromatograph the analyst can determine the alcohol concentration in the suspect's body blood and the instrument records in ethyl alcohol present in the sample and gives a electrical impulse
or the signal and the instrument displays the blood or alcohol container contained on a strip chart recording that resembles an electrocardiogram chart